Okay, this is going to be a first time actually doing this on my iPhone to try it out and see what happens. But um, we have a F700 here that a customer said to us, said it had no video. And we can actually tell that uh, the piece right here has been broken off. Uh, it still has the prongs, but the uh, plastic is gone. So the first thing we're going to do is... We've taken this one off of this spare board that we have. Um, and it's right here. And we're going to replace it on this one. So we're actually going to take this, put it on here, and then we're going to test it out and see about the video and everything and go from there. So um, that's what we're going to do here in a second. Uh, just repair this one and then start our... Uh, diagnostics like we always do and they go from there and see what happens okay so we have our board here with the new jack on it and we have a comparison board here uh, notice that the uh, slit on this one goes towards the battery adapter and this one the slit does just the same so we're going to say that that is uh a repaired process there and now we're going to take and plug it in and test it out and see what happens we'll do that here in a second all right so now we're going to turn this laptop on and uh, see what happens we have lights it did instant off um, most likely this is a uh, reflow issue so what we're going to do is take this uh, board it has a uh, Go 6150 and a NF430 chipset on it. And we're just going to take and reflow these two and then see where it goes. So that's what we're going to do here in a second. Alright, so we're about to uh, turn our system on, test it out. And uh, we have lights. We have... Uh, power to the board and let's see if we get video so we have video here um, one thing I'll have to do is hook up the keyboard to uh, do the burn in so I'll stop this right now and go do that real quick and then uh, start it up again and see what happens so everything's uh, plugged in turned on and we're in the BIOS we're gonna allow this to do the burn in and uh, we'll just let it run for two hours or so, like we're supposed to. And then uh, we'll rebuild it and let it uh, test it out and see what happens there. So we knew that it was a uh, reflow and that's what needed to be done to fix it. So we're done as far as that's concerned and we'll just let it run and do its thing. All right, we've run our board for the time that we need. So uh, we're actually a little bit longer than what we traditionally run it for. But uh, what we're going to do is take it and put it in the system and uh, put it back together and see what happens from there. Uh, hopefully it'll work. Uh, pretty certain it will. But uh, nobody knows about the screen or anything like that until you put it back together. So we're going to go from there and see what happens and uh, continue the uh, process of fixing it. Okay, so now we have our system uh, built. And um, we're going to turn it on and see what happens. We do have video. Uh, we have a hard drive in there, so we should get uh, Windows, which we do, uh, most likely. Um, we have the wireless card being activated, hard drives running. Um, so we know that uh, our system is actually starting up and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Let's see what happens when it starts up. Let's see if it requires a username and password. And it does. <laughs> so let's see. 
we don't have the password for this system, so we're actually going to say that it's done. Uh, everything's complete with it. Went through the, uh, the burn-in, diagnostics, uh, changed the plastic piece on there, um, and everything seems to be working with Windows. So we're going to say that it's complete. This is a done system.